You might have heard today is World Health Day, and the world in response is thanking our health care workers for all they're doing right now to keep us safe. To honor them, I want to share an essay a registered nurse of 35 years in Minnesota sent to me. I'm going to read it, as you'll see and hear, as her identity needs to be protected to protect her job. One of the hardest parts of COVID-19, the wait. The halls are empty, there are no visitors now, trying to lock out infection from getting inside. Patients are frightened and family members are afraid to not be with their loved ones. Inpatients are no longer allowed visitors and patients are being moved to other facilities and neighboring communities to make room. The wave is coming, we are told. It's the lag between the earthquake and the tsunami finally hitting shore. Are you sure this is really necessary? How do you answer this? Do you prevent someone's care today in order to prevent using supplies you might need later? As far as testing for the virus of symptomatic staff, patients, and the general public, they don't meet the criteria. We don't have enough tests. They aren't sick enough to test. So we know the numbers you are hearing on your TV aren't even close. None of us know what to expect. If we will have enough of anything, how many will we lose? Will we do enough? Will we know what to do? It all changes so fast, multiple times a day. Who will take care of us? Will we bring this home to our loved ones? Our friends are outside walking and biking and enjoying the spring sunshine. We are working overtime to keep track of all the chaos before the eventual storm hits. We have no extra PPE on our shelves or in our drawers. The CDC safety standards have been watered down and are no longer to protect us, but to get a job done. Who do we trust? How are we to remain advocates? What do I do with my anxiety? What if I get sick? The doctors are scared. The nurses are terrified. The housekeepers hustle through their day. No laughter at the nurse's station or at lunch tables anymore. No one eats together. No one smiles anymore. There is no roadmap for this. We know our colleagues are dying after providing care. But we still wait, and we are as ready as we will ever be. Again, that was an essay written that I read from a nurse, a registered nurse in the state of Minnesota for 35 years. Thank you to all the healthcare workers tonight fighting the good fight to keep us safe. Good night.